Hello, everyone, and welcome to a game. Soft yes, thank you. Welcome to a game of Sharan no Kuni Imawari no Shoujo. Now, this is another visual novel that I wanted to show you. This one actually is from Japan. Uh, Sharan no Kuni Imawari no Shoujo means the wheel country, the sunflower girls. And uh, this one is in a, a slightly similar vein to Dysfunctional Systems. It does happen in an alternative universe. But we stay in that alternative universe and we tell a story in there. A bit more of a romance than Shara no Kuni. We, we follow sort of a heroic male character. And in his work to become basically one of the secret police of this dominant power. Which we only know by the name of the Wheel Country, which is more of a metaphor for it. As you can see, the symbol for the game, the wheel, and the sunflower. The wheel being a symbol for the country, and in their society, a sunflower is a symbol of justice. And as you can see, this one is uh, truly from Japan. <laughs> we have some of the more focus on the girls. Obviously, you can choose a romantic interest in this one. We have CG mode, event mode, I can go back and play different things. I'm going to show you the beginning here. Uh, I'll also leave a link to the translations that you can get in the description. The game itself is not available in America. Maybe it is overseas, I don't know. But the translations are free. They're done in American English. So uh, you should be able to at least get those. You'll have to find the game for yourself. And uh, with that, I think we can get started. Just show you the introduction. I'll try not to read too much. <laughs> I think I've heard of that country. like. <laughs> we have our main character here, pondering to himself. I like that bit about our world being a novel series in this, a series of science fiction novels. It allows them to include references to our world, various pop, uh, pop culture and historical references that uh, these people don't really consider historical, it's fiction. But uh, they take some interesting turns with that. Anyway.
I just love this main character, Keiichi. See, I don't think we're talking about sibling love here. Uh, again, I don't think you have to play through any sex scenes in the present. He's had sex before, so as he's recalling his uh, past, you'll have to live through some of that. <laughs> At the beginning of each chapter, we get a bit about his past, slowly building up to the present. In a not so distant place. Oh, I love this. <laughs> In a not so distant place. Shara no kuni himawari no shoujo. So we're walking six hours straight. Alright. And there's a good view of us. Maybe try. Never my home turn, because it won't turn. More probably turn in the frontier than the country. Wash some flowers surrounding The air in the mountains offered an exhilaration one just couldn't get from the air in the city. I cast my eyes toward the sun. Pay attention because sometimes Keiichi narrates out loud. And you can tell because there's quotes here. He's talking to himself. lived a very interesting life. Uh, you kind of have to do that to do what he's done. <laughs> I'm saying all this out loud, by the way. We have a lot of the same, a lot of the same options, fewer options, but uh, you can open a menu here. <laughs> Some of these are lies. Some of these. Uh, these facts aren't, aren't exactly facts. <laughs> kind of like Mufasa. A little like Mufasa. I know the secret to everything that's going on right now, so this is a lot more hilarious to me than it is to you. <laughs> 
Suffice to say, there's a big twist in this story that changes everything about the way you look at every scene. You gotta play through it at least twice. I guess they couldn't find any better translation for that. I would have said, uh, maybe special class citizen. Uh, well, anyway, let, let's move forward. I don't want to keep you here for 30 minutes like I did last time. This wondrous bag is fitting for a superhuman of my stature. <laughs> not talking to himself now. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Let's lie out here in the sun and go to sleep. As you can see, he's trying to become a special high-class citizen, special high-class uh, individual, and they administer justice in this world. The obligations which they use to, public, to punish crime, like not being able to have children. Okay, speculating will get me nowhere, so I decided to uh, better rest while I have the chance. Let's get some sleep. By the way, I also sleep in a manner befitting of a superhuman. Ich bin ein Übermensch. I thought it would be nice if, when I woke up, it was in a country like Japan. My older sister came to wake me up. That, that's not his older sister. But, okay. <laughs> so now you get a sample of the voice acting, which is much more common in Japanese games. You can turn it off. Some people like to turn it off and imagine the voices. Uh, you can go into... where is it? Uh, config. You can turn off the voices. See? Is it He means, but I do. Do 
not disturb a superhuman in his sleep. character is he has uh, a lot of training in psychoanalysis reading other people and he schemes a lot <laughs> felt wet. I wonder why. Possibly. These are going to be important. <laughs> yeah, I think it says prohibition against love. Anyway, that's what she's got. Proof of her obligation. The prohibition of contact with the opposite gender. I mean, she's a criminal. Kind 
concentration camp. I think he means labor camp. Uh, kind of like a gulag. I think this country is located somewhere in East Asia. They control maybe China. And they definitely have a large frontier which they can send people to work for the rest of their lives. Morito. Hmm. Who's with you? Oh, I thought he said roll cakes. Okay, good. では、これより特別高等人の最終試験を取り行う。実はこの町、四方を 土地面積は600平方キロメートルほど。その70%ほど山林が占め、15%が20歳だ。人口は約1万人。土地柄的かつ歴史的な意味合いから義務を負う非公正人が多く在住している。試験期間は無期限とする。以上。何かは質問は。学園編入し、現地住民と生活しろ。School doesn't last for very long. We we enter summer break fairly quickly. Hmm. Shiriaidana. <笑>関係は嘘をつくのがうまくなったな。しかし本当に恋人なのだろう。名前を知ってるな。正直になれ。こうやって無駄話をしている暇があるのか。<笑> <嘘をつくのがうまくなったな。笑> <笑> Yogaro. What would we be without childhood friends? So that happened. So yeah, we can pick our reaction. So I'm gonna say nothing. 
。すぐ無駄口を叩くのがお前の欠点だ。夏の吐息を連れた。夕焼けの下たたずみ、私はただ思いを馳せる。誰もいない世界に一人生き残るものの罪を誰が。I think this is going to be the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put a link to the translation 